Now, it's no surprise that a lot of Terraria builds are going to include some kind of house or castle or just, you know, building. But that got me wondering, what if a build that you made was maybe focused on just, well, the environment? Hey Terraria fans, welcome back to another speed build video. Guys, in this one we're going to be making this really awesome chained island, and I know I kind of said at the beginning that, well, this was really not the focus of the build, it's not actually the island piece, which, by the way, takes some pretty heavy influences from uh, Kami's Tower in Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, that's a thing. Anyways, anime nerding aside, yeah, the focus of this build is not necessarily the island piece itself, which is being held down by some really cool looking chains. It's actually the tree on top, which really kind of brings this whole thing together. And I actually spent a lot of time on it because I wanted to make it look a little bit different and a little bit more uh, grand, let's say. Now, overall, this build needed a lot of texture and a lot of elements. And I think we accomplished that in flying colors, despite using a very basic color palette of, I believe, just really white and gray. And on the topic of things that are boring, let's talk about my stream, which you can check out live on Twitch, link is down below, and Cat's just actually making some of these build live in person. Additionally guys, if you're enjoying any of my dry, terrible humor or any of the actual builds here on the channel, feel free to hit the like, the subscribe, or the uh, little dinner bell thingy so you can know when the next video hits the old YouTube universe. And as always, with shameless plugs out of the way, let's get to the build, shall we?
the beast by Dallas, make it hurt. All right, guys, so there you go. There is our chained island build done. Again, I just really like some of the texturing. I think it really does have a nice kind of feel to it. It looks kind of complex, but honestly, we just used a bunch of different layers that had the same kind of colors and yeah it's not too crazy we did make use of marble uh some of the team blocks or team player blocks i forgot what they're called uh, i believe the yellow one that we painted white uh we also just used some slab and some ebon stone i believe so yeah a lot of just different layers and actually a weird one was that we used some pearl wood of all things which i like never use that block so that's also in there in the base meanwhile i probably spent more time trying to figure out this tree than i would care to admit but I think it was worth the effort. As you can see, the build is fairly small and compact in some ways, but actually lets the tree look a lot bigger and substantial. And again, I know in Dragon Ball Z, the big floating Kami's tower thing is like enormous, but you get the idea. We kind of pulled some of the themes from that. Anyways, with that said, guys, let me know what you guys think of this build in the comments down below. What'd you like? What did you not like? Or what would you change? Oh, and uh, if you have any suggestions for maybe something you'd like to see in a future build, by all means, put that down there too, because I do take lots of suggestions. And there we go. That's it. So guys, thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. And as always, thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. We will see you in the next one.